I'm going to show you a short technique as to how you never miss a dink again. Like I said, when I say never miss a dink, I'm talking about just a regular dink. If you're playing a good player and they keep pressuring you, obviously it might be a little bit different. You have to make a little bit adjustment. But if you're just regular dinking and you want to never miss a dink, watch this video. Okay, so when you're dinking, um, the key, the key to any good dink is, for me, is what you're doing, the leading edge of your paddle. All right, the leading edge of the paddle is the key to dinking. No matter what anybody tell you, hit up on the ball, do whatever you tell you, the, the key to never miss a dink is this leading edges. On your forehand is this, this leading edge, on your back, on your, on your backhand is the same leading edges. Hold the paddle like this way. This two, this edge on your forehand, this edge on the backhand. So that edge is the key to dinging. Why you, you ask me why I say that? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate something to you. So look at this. Why this leading edge is important? If I have my leading edge below the net and I hit the ball, it goes in the net. If I put my leading edge above the above the um, the net and I hit the ball, it goes over. All right, but I didn't do anything. So that tells you this little edge, where it is, or where it's going to, is the key. So now, if I'm standing here, and I take my little edge, when I'm dinking, back up, and I carry my little edge towards the net, all right? I'm not trying to go flat, I'm not trying to go up. Up, up, pop up, flat is in the net. This little edge, I tend to get my little edge going towards that net. So now, if this leading edge is going towards, towards the net, that ball is never going to go in the net. Okay? So that's how you never miss the ball in the net, dinking. When you dink it, you take this leading edge and you take it towards the toward the net. Right? If my paddle, if you hit the ball in front of you and you extend your hands, Top of the net, right here. How is that ball ever going to go in the net? It's never. How you miss it is you you get do this. And you stop here. So look at the little edge. Little edge is in the net. So obviously you're gonna miss it. So when you dink it, a trick. Take your dink and put your edge towards the toward the net, right? For on is the same thing. And the net. Okay. That is that again is when you um, just regular dinking. If somebody pressurize you, then that might might be different. You have good players hitting deep dinks. Obviously, you have to find was a little bit. He's a more body to get up. It's different. But if you just dinking somebody regular dinking towards the net, all right. And how that works is this: very important where you stop where you stop that party. Now, some people think party goes up here most likely what you do you're picking it up somebody attack you you're gonna bring it back down okay so what i do is when i dink i dink stop at the net paddle ready for the next ball you see stop paddle ready see so my paddle always in the ready position so i dink back dink back dink see but once you once you go up here so when you get the ball back, you make one mistake, you hit back to you, what happened? You got to go back down again, and you go up, it's right, it makes no sense, right? So I'm here, I dink, pressure dink, I can hit it this way, I can do this way, from one shot, right? I hit, look, pop. I'm here, pop, right? Because what happened is I stopped, I stopped my, my paddle at the net. So there's one little trick you, you can use, you never miss, never miss the ball in the net again. Okay, and if you're really good at it, you can control it, you will never pop up the ball because you hit the ball so soft that it will never go up. But one thing you'll guarantee is that you will hit the ball over the net. Okay, remember the trick hitting the never miss, never hitting the ball in the net is this bottom leading edge. If you can get this leading edge above the top of the net on every shot, you will never miss the ball. So these are some of the things I learned through through playing and through just experimenting a little bit so if you want to see more of those little tips that i'm giving out um, like this video 
leave a comment or if you're new to the channel subscribe and let's get over right and let's try to see if we can play some better pickleball